So one more race to go. It's going to be the K2 1000, and here they are lining up. Zoric Tomasiewicz, the silver medalist from Rio, in their gross and half. Uh, different combination. Obviously, Gross won the gold in Rio. Gross and half won the Europeans uh, six weeks ago. Kubelos Pena put a staggeringly fast time a few weeks ago. Turks and Kaz, it's like getting right across the board, this quality, isn't it? Oh, it really is. And, uh, that, that really interesting new crew of, uh, of Gross and Hoff. Gross already Olympic champion in this event. Hoff, top K1 paddler coming together. And then it's Max Hoff's been really in the zone this weekend. Oh, yeah, I mean, they seem to have moved that crew really well now. Spicer and Havel, masses of experience. Spicer's second race. It looks like. It's the Spanish, who are about half a metre difference in size, but it certainly does seem to work with Kurilos and Penna <laughs> taking it out. But it looks like Max Hoff is taking a slight lead at the moment. Max is working hard already. This is a real scary event. He has to go off the line, line well, but again, it's long. Of course, Max Hoff took the bronze medal in K1 2000 in London, gold medal in, uh, in Rio. Marcus Gross also took a double gold medal in Rio. Marcus Gross is you know, maybe the, the best K2 paddler of his this generation, perhaps the superstar of this event. At the bottom of the field is Jacobs, Spicer and Daniel Havel still looking for the performance. Absolutely. Could this be the, uh, could this be the result to check today? They're on the outside lane and they could spring a surprise. Like you said, there's so many different combinations with the K4 1000 coming out. Uh, different athletes and some are stepping down to the K4 500 and some are going to the twos. But so far it looks like the lane number four, the Serbians, who have medals in top top events, are really taking on the pace. Yeah, they're, they're, they're two relatively small guys, relatively well, fast, and they're London. They seem to be um, focusing on this event year after year. So they perhaps have a little bit more experience than some others in, in this event, exactly. The event's changed a couple of times, rather, the lead has changed a couple of times. It's neck and neck. Yeah. Halfway through. Just through the first place between Serbia and Germany there. They are looking good, you know, if you can save energy on the first half of the space, you can unleash a bit of time to unleash it. Well, this is going to be a fight. You can see Max Hoff really gritting it in there. It is, it just needs to keep the technique together. This is the point that we have to save our fast, even when it's hurting, even when you're putting in the maximum power. Well, you can see a big push here from the Serbians. The Serbians are just taking their weight up a little bit. They're keeping their body, they're keeping the body, they're keeping the technique nice and compact. Tapping away with a higher, higher racing, whereas most of them are reaching for it. Lithuania looking interesting at the top of the picture for the medal, but here are the dominant two. Yeah, and the short carbon back of that boat, isn't he? He looks like he's under control. Coming up to 200 metres to go, and the boat length ahead can Gross and Hoff make a last push from the bottom of your picture. The motivation from the adrenaline from the crowd is pushing the Czech Republic through. Absolutely, they're just hammering it now. They're going to be seeing red, nothing but pain and noise in the crowd. They're going to go for it. And Peter look at well the Polish so coming through. Lane number five, sorry, it's the Slovaks coming through. Peter Zeller. He's, yeah, he's got Germany it. have died. Who's going to come second? It looks like the Serbia are going to certainly take the victory. It looks like the Slovaks are wanting the Slovak silver with yeah. the Czech Republic will get the medal. Wow, this is a big rivalry between Slovak and Czech Republic. It's a quick small line. I don't know who it's going to be. about the winner of this last race it is Tomisovic and Zoic for Serbia with Germany just running out of pace. Great shot of the punch their boat there showing they've trimmed it absolutely perfectly keeping the boat flat in the water. And Slovaks just held on to claim the local honours. Peter Zeller is an absolute legend and the world. Up and down a little bit of times but he just still has a really big effort. 30 Years old. Yeah, he was an absolute fantastic paddler on the K1500, and then that was taken out of the Olympic program, but he found his slot in K2000 again. Look at the arms on there. Yeah, they're not small even for these endurance paddlers. 
it is a, it's a strength endurance sport. Down the screen. Big lungs, but you've got to have muscles as well. Sylvia! <laughs> 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 